Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today I am bringing you the brand new Fishing North Atlantic. Now, this has been out for a long time on PC. It just came out to console, oh, I want to say a couple weeks back. Um, I'm really excited to play this. I've been having a lot of fun with Fishing Baron Sea. This is the sequel to that. They've made a lot of changes. They've made a lot of improve improvements. It seems like this developer is really on the ball with things. They're constantly patching bugs. They just released their first DLC. It released across all platforms at the same time. So, um, yeah, I'm really excited to get into this, guys. Now, I should say that I've already started a career because I wanted to see how difficult it was and I wanted to, you know, not go into it. And I wanted to show you guys something that I could be helpful with at least. But we're going to start a new career now because I feel like that's the best way to start out and, uh, well, you'll see what I mean. So, let's start a new career. Bob Jackson, mail, so tutorial, fast travel, fishing, no port patrol. That sounds great. So, let's begin the game. All right. So, here we are. And the little tutorial thing should pop up. There we go. Welcome to Nova Scotia. So last time we were in, I believe, like Norway with the Barent Sea, and now we're in Nova Scotia. So you begin your career with a small harpoon boat that you have inherited from your uncle. With such humble beginnings, it will be a long road to becoming one of the legendary mariners of North Atlantic. Swordfish are best caught from August to October. All fish species in the game can only be fished within its season. Please check the in-game wiki to learn more about their seasons. But let but let us not get distracted with dreams of fortune and glory. Let's start with the basics. All right, guys. So I'm going to kind of skip over this stuff because it's just making the boat go uh, and turning it and stuff like that. I will catch back up with you when it's time to go fishing. All right, guys. So this is what we're doing now. We have to... <laughs> Do the harpoon tutorial, and I'm not going to lie, harpooning is tricky. It's not the easiest thing to do. So we'll get our spot here, and we'll get into our position and start doing this. All right, so as you can see, we have a swordfish out there. We have one there. You want them to come pretty close to you. Uh, these harpoons, they don't have a huge range, so you want them to come in pretty close. You want to make sure you get them. Um, that one there, he's coming towards us. Maybe we can get him. Uh, no, he's, he's going away. He's going away. So, basically, guys, we just have to wait here and be patient until we get a swordfish to come within range. Okay, there's another one and again he's he's not coming at us. He don't want he don't want no part of us. Okay, we have this one here. I think we can get him. There we go. We got him. We got him. So now we're going to reel him in. And part of the issue was that our boat... Uh, and see, I don't like this because right away, when they start going towards the back of the boat, they're really hard to land. I mean, you could do it, but it's really difficult. See, when that rope turns yellow, you want to stop reeling in. You definitely want to stop reeling in when it, when it turns red. Yeah, we might have to cut our losses with this one. Because he just does not want to come in. Once they start doing that... Ah, 
So I'm not gonna lie, guys. The uh, the harpoon fishing, it's very frustrating. It's either getting them to come to the boat, and then once they do, landing them is just so difficult. Like, I always get at least the first one that seems like it just doesn't want to come in for anything. So, just something to know that this is... This is just, Oh, I hate how they're coming in because, again... We got him, we got him. Try to keep him from going to the back of the boat, hopefully. I think we had this one. Yeah, we got him, alright. Whew. So, that is how you catch them harpooning, guys. And like I say, once you start getting the hang of it, um, you will get them more, and it is oddly satisfying to catch them this way. But, uh, yeah, it is a little difficult. But anyway... I need to catch some more because I need to make sure I have enough money to do the next part of the tutorial. So I'm going to try to catch as many of these guys as I can. And then I will come back when uh, when I've had a few more in the boat. So I'll see you guys then. Alright guys, so that took a long time. But we finally had the money that we need. So we got one deep line and we baited it with herring because we're going to go after some tuna so we're going to bait that and now we just have to get a crew member and that took a long time so we're going to get the cheapest crew member they have this dude here 17.9 that leaves us with two thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars left that's okay we're going to make quite a bit of money with these tuna. So we're going to depart from the port like they want us to. And if we take a look at the map here, we have a tuna spot right up there. That's where we're going to be headed, guys. And uh, tutorial deep line. Yeah, yeah, okay, and all that. All right, guys, so I'll see you when I get up to the... Uh, the tuna fishing grounds. Alright, so here we are. Well, there's supposed to be tuna now. I'm not seeing any tuna on here. But uh let's let's get our guy out. Deep line haul. Oh, that's right. We don't have to. We don't have to bait these. Or oh, wait. <laughs> Do we? These are already baited, right? Yeah. There we go. So we'll let that out. Hopefully there's some tuna here. I don't really know. It doesn't look like it. Okay, that was strange. But uh, that pot needs to set. So what we're going to do... We're going to come down from here. And I'll show you guys another pretty cool thing. We can actually skip time in the boat now. And this is fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to do 20 hours here. Sit in here. Come out. Check our... Alright, and it is blue, so...
we're good to go. So let's uh, let's wake up our guy here. Put him on that. And we're gonna spin the boat around so we can pick up this buoy. And like I say, guys, no more of the uh, the selecting haul gear or anything like that. It just happens. It just detects it, and it happens. And that is so awesome. And what is what is that light from? I don't know. That's weird. So the buoy is nice and blue. So we should be good to go for fish. Okay, there it is right there. So this is a little different. This is a little different than the long line. It's a little uh, little different kind of mini game here. Okay, so we're gonna aim this at the blue and hit the R2 trigger and there we go we got a tuna and I don't know what the hell is up with the animations with the tuna but uh, it's really weird so now it looks like he's pulling the line in as I get the fish alright there we go and that's three tuna that we caught it's 1,542.6 pounds worth of fish. Fantastic. Make your way to the marked area. Okay, I, I did that. Oh. Okay. So did they actually want us to do it here? Because I thought they wanted to do it where it was marked for the tuna. Hmm. Whoops. Well, you know what, guys? We already did it. We uh, we see what we had to see. I showed you guys what I wanted to show you guys with that. Um, the rest of it I haven't done yet. The only thing... Else, I believe this new is the lobster fishing and the snow crab that you have to you have to measure and stuff. I haven't done that yet, but yeah, I can't wait to get into this game. And the next time we get into it, it's going to be just fishing, trying to get fish and uh, and all that good stuff. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.